Hi, my name is Doug Zito, Technical Support Engineer with Typical Jasper Soft Corporation. Today we are going to demonstrate how to connect a REST data adapter to the Jasper Server Repository Database. Before we start, please go through the steps to install the REST Web Service Data Source on Jasper Soft Studio. The link containing the steps to install the data source is seen below. For the purposes of this demo, I have already completed the steps mentioned in the link. To begin, we're going to start by creating a new data adapter. Scroll down until you see the web service data source. And we're going to go ahead and call this test web service. For the server URI, you want to enter the URL of your Jasper server. For the connection type, we can use GET. And for authentication, we're going to use BASIC, which will uh, prompt us to supply a username and password to the Jasper server database. Now that we have our web service data adapter set up, we're going to create a new blank report and use the data that we can retrieve from the data adapter. So now we're going to use the web service adapter. And in this example, we're going to want to retrieve the list of users in our Jasper server repository database. So to that, uh, for that, we're going to start by specifying the base URL, which in this case would be restv2 users. And the content type we want to get back from the Jasper server REST endpoint is going to be JSON. Now what we'll need to do is make sure we can actually get fields that we can work with in our report design. So now we're going to switch over to the fields tab. And now we're going to use get server response. And now there's going to be some more pieces of information we'll need to supply. The first will be the root path seen right here. And to do that we're going to expand the users tree hierarchy. And at the leaf level we're going to say set as root path. And now what we'll need to do is pick some fields that we retrieved in our server response. So we're going to expand one of these user nodes and we're going to say add node as field in order to get the full name. And we'll do the same thing for username. Now we'll be able to use the fields that we retrieve from our REST call. Now that we're in our report design, we'll do a quick test by adding the fields to the report and then doing preview. As you can see, the report now has a list of all the users that are returned from the REST call. This concludes this demonstration of the REST data adapter pointing to the Jasper Server repository database. Thank you for watching.